Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful Friday. Uh, Roy is doing uh, much better. He's on oxygen some, off of oxygen some. He's doing a lot, bit, a lot more exercises. And his coughing is much better. His oxygen level is better. So everything is looking up. God is good. We love the Lord. He is our healer. And I'm still, <clears throat> my throat is still kind of raspy, so y'all just overlook that. Uh, I still tested positive for COVID, but you know, when we're in the hospital, the doctor said you can test, even though you're not contagious, you can test positive for up to two or three months. And I said, well, that's crazy. How do you know when? But he said, after five or six days, give it eight days and you're probably not contagious. So. That's all you do is go by what the doctor says. So, <laughs> and I, <clears throat> I got the results from my MRI. Those of you that have been watching me and following me. <clears throat> and I have a few issues. I've got to go to a neck and spine doctor, but that's okay. That's all right. The Lord is my healer and he's already healed it. And I truly believe that. So today um, we are going to make our, my, our niece up the road, about three miles up the road, and my daughter, Jenny, uh, have been keeping us in food. Wonderful, wonderful food. And I'm telling you, uh, it's been delicious. But today, I thought I would do a, it's apple season. It's fall, apple season. Now, I'm only using two apples in this, and I'm calling this an apple fruit salad because Roy wanted some fruit and cottage cheese the other day uh, for breakfast. So I had some peaches, nectarines. I opened a can of chump pineapple, uh, but that is the only canned fruit in here. It's peaches, nectarines, strawberries, and um, my canned pineapple. Then I had a few more strawberries that I cut up. Uh, so. We're going to be adding that. We're adding, and I've got a nectarine out here just to show you that it's got nectarine in it. But we've eaten all the peaches. So. Um, and my dressing, <clears throat> you can leave it just like this, just as a, a fresh fruit salad. But today I'm going to do a dressing. I do one of cream cheese and stevia. So I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going to cream my, I mean, I'm going to... Uh, I made lacy cornbread for Roy yesterday to go with some uh, food that my niece Larry had brought. So I just stuck it in the microwave. <clears throat> I'm gonna soften that cream cheese and I'm gonna mix. I've got two tablespoons of stevia here. I'm not sure it's gonna take it all. And I've got two tablespoons in here because <clears throat> I don't know how sweet these apples are. These are pink lady apples. And this one's got a bad place on it. So, uh, but I just thought this would be a kind of a short video that I could do for y'all. And it would be delicious. Be a good dessert. Or just, just a snack for me and Roy. So, all right, this one, part of this apple is bad. So I'll cut that off. And my cream cheese probably is softened enough. You do want to soften your cream cheese. I think I'll put these over here and take them to our rabbits. Our rabbits love our apple, our apple cores. Okay, so now I'll, I've already got some cut up here. Let me show you about. And I've got all of my fruit cut about the same size. So, uh, so I want to cut my apples about just the way you can eat it with a spoon. And it won't be such a big mouthful. But this just seemed like it would just be so good because it's fall and now it's not that cool outside today, but some mornings we get up and it's really cool, feels really good. But the last couple of days it's gotten up in the 80s, so gets a little warm. Of course, not like we usually have in the summertime, 95 to 100 degrees. 
but it still feels good, even at 80 something. And y'all, Roy <clears throat> was able to go outside today and with his walker, we have a driveway. Uh, I don't know how long it is, but uh, pretty. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I, I'm not good at numbers. So I don't, I'm not good at measuring distances. So, I mean, I'm really good at numbers, but not distances. Maybe a hundred feet. Maybe I don't even know how, how long that is. <laughs> but he was able to walk it there, up and back three times. So, uh, that was wonderful. He's just been walking in the house some. Uh, but uh, he was able to go outside today, and the sunshine was so good for him. He loved it. He loved the sunshine. Oh, and I'm also going to put pepper jack cheese in it. All right. Uh, I may not use all those strawberries, but I am, I think, going to use all of this. Oh, and it's got grapes, a few grapes in it. But I'll have the recipe in the description box for y'all. Um, so... Hmm, I may not put, I'm going to put a few of these strawberries in it, but not many. And I'll use them for something else. We'll, I'll put a little stevia on them, and we will uh, maybe eat them with some Cool Whip or something. All right. Now, I am going to add about, this is a teaspoon. I'm going to add two teaspoons of stevia to this fruit, and then I'll taste of it and see if it's sweet enough. But I'm gonna add some in with my cream cheese also. Now you can put nuts in this, and I I may ask Roy if he wants nuts. You can use walnuts, pecans, almonds, whatever you want. Uh, so, all right, I'm gonna give this a little taste, see how sweet it is. Mm hmm. All right, this is one tablespoon of stevia because three teaspoons equal one tablespoon. All right. Now, that should be perfect. Now, you can eat it just like this as just a fresh fruit salad. Let y'all look at it. Peaches, fresh peaches, nectarines, canned pineapple, strawberries, and apple. It is delicious. You can even put cottage cheese with this. It's delicious. But I wanted to make a little dressing to go on mine. So I've got cream, uh, cream cheese. This is three ounces of cream cheese because I don't want it really heavy with cream cheese. All right, now. Let me get my tablespoon. I'm going to start out with a tablespoon of stevia. And I'm going to see how sweet that is. Now you drain on the, on the pineapple. I drain my pineapple. All right. One more tablespoon. Two tablespoons of stevia and your cream cheese. Okay. All right. I think that's going to be. Y'all might can hear Roy coughing. <laughs> he does that sometimes, but not nearly like he did. Praise the Lord. All right. Now remember, you can put more, you can use four ounces of cream cheese if you want to. And if you're not watching your carbs, you can use powdered sugar to sweeten it. Uh, but I use, I would use powdered sugar and not granulated sugar because powdered sugar mixes in better than the granulated sugar would. Okay, but I just want a light dressing on mine. And if I add nuts, I'll find out from Roy in a little bit. Then I'll put it in the description box. Or I'll probably put it as an option for you in the description box. So, sure is good to be back with y'all. 
And I want to tell you, I try to answer all my comments. Well, I haven't answered anything in the past two weeks or maybe a little over. And I just want to tell y'all how much those comments have really helped. I and I read every one of them to Roy. How much they have really helped us. And we just sit back and we say, we cannot believe that people that we've never met are praying for us and love us like they do. It's just, it's amazing. It, it's just amazing. We can't believe it. But w believe me, we have read every comment. And from now on, I'm, I'm going to try to go back answering now that things are, are looking up and getting better. So I apologize for not, not answering y'all's comments, but I have read every one, every one. And I've even read them to Roy. Okay. All right, I'm going to taste this. This is a different spoon, but it doesn't matter. It's just me and Roy anyway. So, and I'm not contagious anymore. All right. Um, mm. Mm. Y'all. If you have never used cream cheese, and powdered sugar or stevia or agalose, whatever sweetener you use. If you have never used it as a dressing, try it. It's not as tart as mayo, uh, it's, uh, but it's, I love it, it's delicious. Pepper jack cheese in here. Bro, I said, honey, put some cheese, put some white cheese in that. So I said, that'll be good. Okay, I'm gonna get another spoon though for those of all those of you out there that don't like double dipping. Mmm. That's delicious. This is probably a half a cup of pepper jack cheese. You can use cheddar cheese, you can use Swiss, provolone, whatever cheese you like. Oh, that cheese just it ups, it ups the flavor. That is delicious. All right, y'all. This is my fresh apple salad. No, I'm calling it apple, fresh apple fruit salad <laughs> with cheese. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> I had to put it in a pretty bowl so that I could take some pictures of it. Cause I have to put a thumbnail. Isn't that a pretty picture? I mean, pretty bowl. I got it at the consignment shop. And I put a few strawberries on it just so it would be pretty. Now, this is delicious, but I'm gonna tell I've already tasted it with y'all, but I'm gonna taste it again. The cheese just elevates that flavor. It is so good. So let's taste. Mmm. Try the cream cheese mm. as you're dressing. So good. All that fresh fruit, mm. just really, really good. Thank y'all for joining me this morning. I am so happy to be back and have y'all in my kitchen with me. So, <clears throat> food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, God feeds the soul. Put deliciousness back in healthy food. And if y'all see my shirt, it said, faith can move mountains. I wore that today because faith can move mountains and it can heal our bodies. So, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Love y'all. See you next time.